Okay, you hear the rooster crow, it's time to start. We're going to grind the inside of this boat. Put me this little handy dandy grinder, I'm going to try. And we'll see how it does. Kind of like surgery. So, anyhow, I'm not going to uh, make you a witness to the accident. So, I'm going to grind a little and then I'll get back with you. So, talk to you later. Alright. Just bringing you an update. Other than being dustier than you can possibly imagine. Uh, I can see this is going to take about two or three days of grinding to do this. So, I'm not going to bore you with that. Right now I'm standing at about an inch of powder. And we ain't nowhere near done. So, I'm going to grind some more on it. And then I'll keep you posted. Talk to you later. Okay, well, I've uh, ground probably four hours of actual grinding today between my trips to Lowe's getting sanders and more disc and stuff. There seems to be my, I had the hard disc on there. That works great for cutting out the uh, um, bulkheads and stuff, but the uh, sanders as far as knocking down those ridges and, and getting all that cleaned up and ready to uh, uh, for recoating the fiberglass and putting the new stringers in the grinders with the sanding disc, I got the coarsest ones that uh, that Lowe's had. But uh, right now you can see that uh, I've been grinding. I haven't got a lot done. Most of it is clear back here in the back, but you can see I got a pretty good sized pile there, and uh, I would say. I got maybe a, an eighth of it done, and uh, but you know those uh, that bulkhead and that one piece of stringer up there that took me a while, and then up there where that uh, pan was for the front, that took a little while to do that. So anyhow, I'm gonna call it a day. It's starting to get uh, towards evening, and I've had enough. Talk to you later. We're going to grind some more today. Okay, I just wanted to update you. I thought I'd leave the tractor run that way in case the rooster wasn't crowing and the dogs weren't barking you'd have some background noise. But uh, anyhow, ground a lot of it, uh, got a lot of dust in it, got so much hard to see what we're doing so we're going ahead and washing it out real good and we already took and uh, swept it and, uh, and took a five gallon bucket full out here already before we decide to rinse it out okay it's the end of the day it's uh we got all this ground out got it cleaned out so we could see what we had it's got so much dust and dirt that we couldn't even see where we had ground where we hadn't ground and everything so you can pretty much see we're going to go back through and go to redo it so but so before we start doing any kind of string or lamination or anything but uh Anyhow, you can see I've got quite a bit done. It looks, I think it looks good. It's uh, got a few places. So, I mean, you know, up there towards the front has to be done more and, and along here. But, I mean, like I said, we had ground so much that uh, we couldn't hardly see um, what we had done and what we hadn't done. So, anyhow, I had to get cleaned up so we could see what we were doing and uh, kind of get a better idea of what needs done. I'm way, I'm not ready to go in and mark just the areas that need ground. I'm, I know I'm nowhere near that. I mean, you know, it's, uh, but the, uh, like I said, we're getting there. Just keep on a plugging away, you know, one day at a time. And, uh, the grinding is slow. I, um, I am truly ready to be done with the demolition and, uh, start doing some work and putting back together. But I realize this is an important step, so. 
We'll take our time and get it done. I'll keep you posted.